I would like to discuss about the oral cancers or the mouth cancers. It, this is the typical cancer of our subcontinent and particularly in India, this incidence of this cancer is quite high because of the typical chewing habit which we have in this country of Gutka, which is prevalent in our country. So what we see is uh, because of tobacco chewing and alcohol, the incidence of this cancer is highest in males in the world. How do we say that we, we can be having an oral cancer? If we have an ulcer which is not healing for a longer period of time, say a month's time, or it's bleeding when we are brushing our teeth, or, or it's causing pain when we are eating, which is not subsided by taking any medication, then, or we have a lump in the neck, then we might be having uh, oral cancer. You need to be checked up by a head and neck specialist. You might be having white patches or red patches in the oral cavity in the mouth, which suggests that which are pre-cancers, that is when that cancer has not developed, this might be the stage. You need to come to us. We have our head and neck unit system in Dharamshila Cancer Hospital and we conduct free oral cancer screening, uh, screening uh, for these patients, for the patients. So you can take a benefit out of it and uh, we will be happy to do that. And then after that, how do we go about it? When a patient comes to us, we take a small piece of biopsy and send it for the lab investigation, which tells us whether it's a cancerous or non-cancerous. And if unfortunately if it comes out to be cancer, then we get a thorough checkup done so that we know what exactly the stage of the disease is there by doing a CT scan, MRI, chest x-ray, ultrasound if required be. Then after the confirmation that if it's localized cancer, if it's is to particular to that organ is confined, then we all specialists to, to uh, sit together and conduct a meeting, we call it tumor board, so that best line of management for the patient can be laid down. After we establish the diagnosis that uh, that uh, person is having a cancer, then we do a thorough checkup by doing a CT scan, MRI, X-ray chest or an ultrasound depending on, uh, upon the uh, lesion. Then after that, we have a meeting where all the specialists, cancer specialists, radiologists sit together and discuss the best line of management for the patient so that we have the highest cure rates. And then after that, for mouth cancers, the primary treatment is surgery, means operation by which we remove the organ which is affected and we are sure of it on the table, operation table by sending it for pathological analysis at that time and that specimen is sent to the lab which, with, which they tell is that whether it, it is containing cancer or not. So we call it a frozen section when we are sure and we remove uh, sure that the tissue is removed completely and is not, canning, uh, not having any cancer. And we remove the lymph gland as well. After that, when we remove that, we are sure that we have removed it, then our plastic reconstructive team comes into play. They perform complex plastic reconstructive surgery so that the disfigurement which occurs after this surgery is as minimal as possible. For example, if you take, if a jawbone is involved by the cancer for, because of gum cancer, then jawbone, part of the jawbone is removed. So they reconstruct it by using a bone from the leg which has no function at present in our body. And then with this, they reconstruct the jaw. And this operation is a long operation, it takes time and but we are, we are doing it successfully in our hospital. After the surgery is over, our prosto, prostodontic team, speech therapist and swallowing therapist uh, and physiotherapist team is there which comes into play and they take care that the patient is fully rehabilitated and can go into society without any fear that he might be having cancer. And after this, the report of pathological report comes in the what finally the stage of the cancer is. And we analyze whether other therapies like radiotherapy that is an x-ray therapy which is given to kill the cancer cells is required or not or chemotherapy that is drugs which kills the cancer cells are, is required or not. And after that this is the treatment and patient has to come for follow up. So my sincere advice would, would be for these patients that to quit the tobacco so that we can have higher cure rates and if you require our help in screening or, or treatment we are there for your help at Dharamshala Cancer Hospital.